My name's Peter Evans. I live in Canberra currently. Fly mainly out at uh, Lake George. Currently flying my the wing that I learnt on, which is a Mistral 530. Uh, it's probably 2007, so trim that's 39 kilometres an hour and fully accelerated, it gets to maybe 41 kilometres an hour. So I don't think I'm going to be first to the end, but I'll have fun along the way. Um, as far as a motor, flying a uh, Polini 190 in a fresh breeze frame, which I'm very pleased about. Um, uh, had a few motor issues, but that comes with the, the territory. And are you doing the race or adventure? Um, I'll start off in race and fall back to adventure uh, uh, when or if I need to. But um, yeah, I'll start off in the, the race class. Uh, Do you have a strategy for today? Um, you, yeah, a, a week ago I was looking at the weather and there was a, a lower easterly in the afternoon and then an upper westerly. You know, the fantasy of uh, uh, flying to Walka, uh, refueling there and then uh, um, getting as far back uh, to the coast as possible. But uh, daylight will, will get us on that one. Um, we need to land by last light, which I think is about uh, five to five to eight. Um, I'll get the Walker and refuel and enjoy the, the flight and the conversation. Yeah. Fantastic. Anything else you want to add? Um, I, I guess um, these craft are absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know, when else in time could you carry your gear? in your car, carry it to a flat paddock, set up in 20 minutes, launch, and then do really significant flights, 130k. Uh, I carry 14 litres of fuel, um, fly up to 9,999 feet, uh, uh, of course, outside of controlled airspace. Um, absolutely incredible craft. Leonardo would be very envious. I guess another thing when you're flying these sort of craft, um, it's a fabric craft, it is a light weather craft. It's really important to understand uh, the sort of conditions that it and you can fly in. Um, one thing that you learn fairly quickly flying these things is that you know, I'm a fairly insignificant small blob of meat in a large and indifferent sky. And we've really got to observe uh, uh, the air because um, yeah, we're in its world. <laughs>